Okay, uh, today I want to take a look at a recipe for Brunswick stew. And uh, basically what I've done is come find several uh, different recipes uh, that I've seen in the past um, and put them together as one. Now, uh, starting off, I'm, I, I got that leftover uh, barbecued pork from the pulled pork uh, sandwiches that I made uh, in the previous video. I've also got a leftover uh, rotisserie chicken uh, shredded up and uh, those are going to be my two meats. Uh, I'm also going to put in some celery, some onions, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seed these uh, uh, jalapenos and um, cut them up kind of small, but uh, I don't want the heat from it. I just want the flavor from the pepper, uh, but definitely uh, take the rib. I'm gonna de definitely going to take the rib out and the uh, seeds out. Now, I do like a little spice in my Brunswick stews, but I always add that with some Tabasco at the end. Uh, so I leave that to the side, um, as a, you know, serve it as a side. Uh, uh, some of the other stuff that we're going to be needing is uh, for the spices. We're going to have some uh, garlic, uh, salt, pepper. Um, and a little bit of uh, cooking sherry to just to deglaze the uh, pan from sauteing the vegetables. And uh, we're going to uh, mix half and half, probably not both of these cans uh, full, but maybe three quarters of each of them of uh, beef broth and uh, chicken broth. And I'm also going to do uh, a can of regular corn and cream style corn. And also I've got some whole tomatoes here that I'm just going to break up by hand. I'm not going to chop them or anything like that. Um, so uh, I'm just going to mash those by hand. I like kind of big and small pieces of tomato in there. And I, I actually have another can of this too in case this isn't enough. I just got to see what's all going to fit in uh, uh, my crock pot. Now uh, this doesn't have to be done in a crock pot since the meats and stuff are already cooked. Um, it, it, it could be done in a, in a Dutch oven on top of the stove as well. So I'm going to chop up the vegetables, get them frying in the pan. I got my pan warming up and I'll be right back when we get to the next step. I'm also going to pop open all these cans too so we don't have to wait on that. So I'll start with by uh, putting in the onions, get a little oil in the pan. I already uh, cracked some uh, pepper on there and I'm gonna put a little kosher salt in there and then what I've done is separated the peppers from the uh, celery and in a minute I'm gonna toss that celery in and I'm gonna put the peppers in uh, last uh, because I don't want those to overcook or burn or get too small. I'm going to put it in right with the garlic. The garlic's going to go in here too. Then it's all going to go in the crock pot. Okay, so you're not looking to cook these fully or anything. Just to get a, uh, a light sweat on them. Get them started. Um, and that's about it. Uh, you don't want these to be overcooked. We're only going to cook this for about... Oh... Two hours or so on uh, on uh, low and um, maybe one hour high one hour low like I said it's already cooked so most of that doesn't matter so uh, really just want to get it warmed up and let all the uh, you know flavors kind of uh, blend together and here goes the garlic not sure how much I don't think it's possible to uh, have too much garlic in a Brunswick stew but let's for say that it is so let's go with uh, one tablespoon of garlic uh, uh, incidentally I also forgot one more key ingredient was I'm gonna add a little more barbecue sauce I know the uh, uh, Pork's got a lot of barbecue sauce in it already. Uh, 
but it's probably going to need a little more. So keep that in mind that you're going to add just a little more uh, barbecue sauce at the end. Okay, so we're just going to deglaze this pan with a little bit of sherry. That was not even a quarter of a cup. Just enough to bring up any caramelization that might have started on the bottom. Bring it all up uh, into the vegetables. And then just pour all that right into your uh, crock pot. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to add everything else. Um, I got to empty these. At least one of these, put my potatoes in and break them, tomatoes in and break them up. What I'm going to do with these is just pour them into a bowl and mash them up with my hands. And uh, that's going to, actually I got to get in here with two hands, so uh, let me get that done uh, and then come back. Okay, uh, so I broke up those tomatoes and uh, they were really watery. Uh, so what I did was poured off some of that juice. Uh, I want this to be a stew and not a uh, soup. So uh, I, I don't want it to have too much liquid in there. But I'm going to reserve it and keep it, um, keep it on hand in case I need it if uh, I need more liquid. Um, but, like I said, I would be careful if you get too much liquid out of your tomatoes. Um, maybe set some aside in case you don't need it. Uh, so here goes about half can of chicken broth. Half can of beef broth, give or take. Uh, that looks like that's going to be pretty good. Like that. Uh, I'm also going to put in. Oh probably. Half cup. Three quarters cup. Barbecue sauce. Uh, let's put a whole cup in there. This is quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and set this on low. Let me do high for uh, one hour and low for two. And again, I'm just guessing. Normally I do this on the stove top, but uh, since I already had the crock pot out, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, try it in there. So we're going to cover that. I don't know where my lid is right now, but we're going to cover that up and let it go for an hour. And then uh, kick it over to low and uh, go for another uh, hour or so and see how it is. So uh, I did have to adjust my uh, cooking time here a little bit. Uh, this has been going for about three and a half hours. It took almost two hours to come to a boil. Uh, this is a five quart uh, uh, slow cooker and it's completely full and the meat that I put in there was all uh, completely cold So it did take quite a bit longer than I anticipated so it, it took about two hours to go right up on high to come up to a, a simmering boil much like that right there and so What I did from there was turned it down to low and let it go for another two hours It probably would have been done in one hour but um uh, I had to go out of, uh, out of the house and leave for a while, so I just let it go for two hours. And it's um, it's perfect the way it is, so you could do that, or you could, if you're in a hurry, you could stop at one hour. I'm sure it would be fine at that point, too. And uh, I'll be right back to dish it up. Okay, so we're about done right now. Um, and I've been stirring this going in a couple times and it's turning out just about perfect. I really wanted to show you the consistency 
of the finished product. Um, there's that uh, shoulder bone, by the way. I, I threw that in there at the beginning, and just and I forgot to tell you that. If you if you save the shoulder bone from your uh, uh, pulled pork recipe, um, go ahead and throw it in there. It's certainly not going to hurt anything, unless of course you uh, bite into it. So be careful about that. Uh, but here you go, uh, Brunswick stew, straight out of the crock pot, and into the bowl. And I've already tried this, of course, I, I'm, I promise I'll never eat in front of you, but I do try it ahead of time to give you an idea of what it's like. And, uh, it turned out perfect, uh. That sh you can really taste Shane's barbecue sauce, so if you can get that, I highly recommend it. Uh, of course, any other uh, of your favorite barbecue sauce will uh, do as well. But uh, there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the uh, comments below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.